All right, welcome back to the carbon rear wing build. Uh, this is part two. If you're interested in part one where I made this very, very large core for a wing, that is part one. And I'll link that up in the corner. But if you've already watched that and you're in the next part of the process, here we are. So now it's time to actually wrap this thing in carbon. All right, so we have our two layers of carbon, our peel ply, and also our resin, resin flow matrix green stuff. Um, all this does is for resin infusion, this allows resin to travel back and forth more freely than just permeating through the fabric. And given the fact that this is such a big piece, I definitely want the flow matrix. I don't plan on having it feed in at one end and pull all the way across. I'm gonna give it two feeds on either end, so two two cups of resin, and then have it pull right in the center so it just pulls from either side. And I'll have the, like the spiral cord wrapped around there. So I'll do a full kind of layup tutorial, like a stack up before I actually pull vacuum on it just so you can see everything, but everything's cut. Now we just need to wait for the bag to get delivered that we're gonna use for this. All right, so we got all of the fabrics cut out. We got the carbon, the peel ply, the flow media, we got the resin in the mail, and then we got our bag to make everything easier. We got our cup set up with our clamps. So now it's just time to lay this thing up and it's gonna take a while. So I'm not even gonna try and flow resin or mix any resin until I know it pulls down right and everything's good. So. It's going to be a time lapse. I'm going to set you up on the camera, crank some tunes, and we're going to get to this thing. All right, so did an initial vacuum pull on everything, and it actually pulled down really, really nice. And then I was able to kind of flip it over and position all of our stuff. But then uh, there's a spot that didn't get peel ply on the other side. And I think it's just cut a little bit short. So I just need to add a patch there and reposition everything and make sure it pulls down, pulls down nice again. Double check that everything's where it needs to be. And then we'll be ready to mix some resin. But that's just going to be a lot of me. Go so back on the tripod you go. And another time lapse, whatever the heck you want to call it now. All right, so we have it all bagged down. I got my inlets for my resin on either end and my vacuum port in the middle. Um, this, it's kind of bunching at this front edge and I'm kind of worried that it's grabbing that front edge carbon and pulling it out. But at this point, I can't get it to actually pull this way anymore because the flow resin, the resin matrix is very kind of pokey. So it's grabbing the peel ply and pulling with it because this isn't following the front leading edge. It's just kind of crushing just because the bag is, it's a bag, it's gonna squeeze both ways. So there might be a little bunch of carbon at the front edge, so I might have to trim that off and I might have to patch it later. But at this point, it's for me. It's not like it's, I'm selling it to anyone. So even if it does have a little imperfections, I'm okay with it. It's still gonna work way better than anything that I could buy off the internet for the price that it's costing. So I'm gonna pull vacuum one more time and get everything set and then get ready to actually put resin in everything and when resin starts to flow, I will pick back up.
Okay, so Resident Fusion did not really go to plan. Um, basically anything that could have gone wrong did. Uh, you saw the last part where it was still pulling across. And then basically after that, the pot life on the resin ran out and it started to cure in the pots, which probably on me for getting too, too fast of a hardener. I thought I had enough time, but I didn't. And then later on after that, my vacuum pump actually seized up and died. So there's a chance this worked and there's a chance that it didn't. So we're gonna basically try and strip as much of this off and see, see where we're at. Okay, so it's actually turned out way, way better than I was expecting with every problem that I had. Um, it looks like there's a dry spot here that I could probably just refill with some resin when I get to it. And there's a dry spot here, but that's so close to the edge it might get cut off. And all these marks are just from taking the screwdriver and getting it under the peel ply to pry it up because with this much surface area, I can't just pull it up by hand. It's not working especially because when the vacuum died you got a pool i got pools of resin in different places but thankfully when i peel the peel ply off since that's right on the surface of the carbon that excess resin is coming off with this so it's leaving me with this it's a very matte matte carbon right now from the peel ply texture and these marks i could basically sand out or if i basically take water or any sort of clear coat it'll basically get rid of those but yeah that's that's all there is to it to this and then basically i'm gonna demold it all and then you'll see the end of it but it's just a lot of me working the screwdriver in and peeling this up it's basically just gonna take it took me just 40 minutes to do this so i have that and then the whole other side i think once i get one side off the back side will or technically the top side will hopefully come off easier than this because gravity made the resin pool on this side but yeah, so check back and we'll see this when it's fully demolded. All right, so this is now at a state where I'm happy with it. Uh, there's still a little bit of basically consumables stuck on the ends, but that's in my one inch of kind of sacrificial area that I had to put for like the the resin feed lines and stuff like that. So that's actually gonna get cut off. That final inch on either side is gonna get cut off. So I'm not worried about that. So yeah, that's it. I'm honestly surprised how, how well it turned out with how much trouble I had while I was laying it up with like the pump dying and the resin curing a lot faster than I was expecting it to. So if anything, it shows that it's attainable. It's not something that you can't do at home in in your basement with a few extra tools and i had to order a new vacuum pump and they're way cheaper than they used to be i think i only paid 50 bucks for a replacement vacuum pump off amazon so yeah that's it for part two part three is gonna be the underside wing support so the actual piece that connects the wing to the uprights and then we have end plates and uprights to go mount from the trunk so those are all coming down the line, so if you want to see those, just subscribe and they'll show up in your in your feed. So till then, thanks.